Thanks, Jim. Justin Stone here with EliteBaseball.tv. And overnight, as we were filming this and you're listening to it on the podcast, we lost 30 degrees in Chicago. Winter is here. So what I'm going to talk about today is how you can maximize your baseball time by being creative and finding ways to practice when you're stuck indoors for the rest of the winter. I think back to a story as we were talking about this in our production meeting this morning. Uh, being an American Legion ball player when I was 17, 18 years old, and we'd have these road trips once in a while where a lot of young kids were, were itching to get out and play baseball, and there's a lot of downtime in the hotel. And I recall taking the mattresses out of our hotel, off the bed, and putting them up against the interior wall, stacking up six or seven pop cans, and putting rolled up socks on top of the pop cans, and hitting them in our hotel room against the mattresses. Creative way of practice, probably something that cost my coach a couple hundred dollars in incidentals, but nevertheless, this is what we're talking about when we find creative ways to practice when we don't have time, space, or maybe a facility that you need to get into. We've talked a number of times in recent podcasts about the importance of dry work, and this time of year of getting in tune with your body. So I tell our players when they come in and train with me, I give every one of them a homework assignment after each time that we train. And there is no excuse not to get those homework assignments done because all of the drills that we need to do off of a team, you can also do dry for the most part. And you can find creative ways to get in front of a mirror, to get into your basement, to swing the bat in places that your mom or dad give you permission to do so, but picking it up and finding a way to get your brain engaged with your body and become a better baseball player. I look on Twitter and sometimes our players will uh, tweet at me my handle and I'll see them doing videos of one-handed plays with their glove in their living room or guys working backhands in the backyard covered in snow gear. If you love to play baseball, it eats at you when the weather isn't cooperating with you to get outside and practice. It eats at you. Not because we're working I hate that term when it ter in terms of the young kids, I got to go out and work, I got to grind. No, man, you got to go out and play. And you play the game because you love it. You play the game because it's enjoyable to you. And it eats at you when it, the weather doesn't cooperate, and winter's one of those times. So you will see players outside in full winter gear because they want to play. They're throwing a ball against the wall. So we're not going to let the weather be a crutch for us trying to get better at the game we love to do. I'd like to tell several stories of, of what I did playing as a youth player, not because I was a good player, but I did work really hard because I loved the game. And I had a batting cage in my yard. We lived kind of out in the sticks. We had a lot of space, uh, you know, in a, in a rural area. And I had a cage in my yard, and I hit a lot. But knowing that when there was snow on the ground, I was going to get my baseballs ruined. So forever I had my bucket of good baseballs and my bucket of bad baseballs. My bucket of bad baseballs were snowballs. In the time when I was really young, my parents used to take the cage down during the wintertime, and at some point I said, no, nah, I want that thing to stay up. And there would be snow on the ground, and I'd be hitting my bad bucket of balls knowing that those balls were going to get waterlogged. If you love the game, you'll find a way to be creative and go out and play. And that's the point I want to make to you right now. We're not going to let this cold weather be the crutch for us getting better this offseason. And even if we can't get indoors to a cage or you're not taking private lessons, you're not training with your team, find a way to get creative and play some games at home. Until next time, this is Justin Stone with EliteBaseball.tv, and we'll see you on the field.